Hey guys, my name is Vincent. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're completely new. Today I have a really, really exciting unpacking video. This is another resin. I know like all of my last unpacking videos have been resins and I just got really addicted to resins, which is not good. But this is probably the last unpacking video I'm gonna do because it's not quite sure if I'm going to Briarfest yet, but I'm not planning on buying any more models until Briarfest if I'm going. So this guy is super, super special to me. And if you see the box, you may or may not know already from who it is because, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love the box because she did the stamp by herself and stamped this on all the boxes. And this is by um, Studio Thornrose, aka Kylie Parks. And um, I'm really happy to call her my friend. She's super, super talented and she taught me so much. You have no idea. And I'm so excited to finally own a piece of her work. And I picked this up from the custom, so I had to open this. And this was like really hard for me because I have never been more excited for a resin before or a model in general. So opening it in front of that old guy again and it like, I was freaking out inside. And I had to be like super cool outside and I was unpacking him and I was like, oh my god. And they like roughly look at the model to see what material it's made out of and so on and so on. So I didn't have to like look at it for so long because otherwise I probably would have died. But uh, anyways, if you open the box, this is all you can see. There's this letter in here. There's another flyer thing from Shenta because the resin was um, casted by Shenta. And just in my other video, um, I showed you that flyer. Now we have the bill. Thank you, Vincent. Looking forward to seeing him. Ah, uh, this is <laughs> unicornified because I have special plans. You know me, right, guys? And then there's like actually uh, my name, which was drawn from that thing because um, I'm gonna talk about it later because you already know what model it is if you're on Instagram. But yeah, let me open that letter oh my god like look at this there's a sticker there's her um stamp again it's so gorgeous so in here we have a bunch of stuff okay let me get that out so first of all we have her business card i believe this is so cool i love the materials like um a stronger paper i guess and she has drawn that by herself as well and my camera is not focusing on that still not focusing still not focusing there you go. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's her business card. And then we have... Oh, this is... Um, okay, this is for um, the pony pouch um, the resin is coming from, which was made by Megan Coat. Coat? I don't know how you pronounce her name. Then we have another Shenta business card. And then we have a bunch of cool stickers. Oh my gosh, how freaking cool is that? This is so cool. Like, I don't even know. If I would own a car, I would... Definitely put this on my car. Same with this one, because this is so cool. Happiness is never outgrowing your favorite pony. That's what it says on the sticker, and this is so pretty. So pretty. And this is actually the resin which is in here, which is Tadpole, as you can see. This is the um, certification. It says Tadpole Large Classic Scale Shetland Pony Stallion 2017. Well, it's 18 by now. Limited edition resin, um, a two mold run, professionally casted by Shenta. And this is the edition 62. This is so cool. And a signature, and this is this is gonna be so epic. So cool. And then we have these things. And I have absolutely no freaking idea what these are. And my camera is not focusing on them at all. I believe they are like some kind of candy. What does it say? Life savers, life savers. Okay, these aren't. I don't know. I'm gonna try them at the end of the video. But this was really funny because when I had to open it at the custom, this guy, the like they were falling out of um, the bill, and this guy was like looking at me there, and he was like, "Are those drugs?" And I was like, <laughs> uh, "No, I don't think so. I don't hope so." <laughs> but he was joking, of course. But they, if you don't know them, like they still look like drugs to me. If you like ship something from the US, maybe it's drugs, you never know. Okay, then we have the actual resin and this looked so much more pretty, but as I told Oli, I had to open this at the custom. So I roughly like put this back together um, at the custom so it looked like half decent. This is the pony pouch which is um, coming with the model, which fits the model perfectly, which is so nice because it can travel in it um, to every live show. 
And this is the freaking actual resin. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. This is so freaking cool. Oh my god, he looks so nice. Oh my freaking goodness. I don't know if you can see it. Again, it's like super bright, maybe. Oh, this is actually looking quite nice if my camera would focus. Oh my god, he is so freaking adorable. Look at that face. Oh my god. Look at the main details. This is so freaking amazing. He's more than cute. Just freaking adorable. I don't know, I hope you could like um, see all the details. Like look at that tail. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, now if you don't know, this is the Tadpool Resin by Kylie Parks. And she actually made this giant Briar custom out of a Briar Wixom for the um, Briar Fest 2017 custom contest. And she actually won in um, most drastic custom, I think. And it is so freaking cool. So she sculpted out of a Briar Drafter, a pony, which is in a different scale because it's obviously larger than, than traditional. And then afterwards, because so many people loved him, no wonder, um, she scanned him by Shantar and they printed a smaller version and casted it in resin, which is really cool. And she has written permission from Briar, so I don't see any problem why she shouldn't do it. But anyways, um, I absolutely love owning a piece of her work because actually I have been there when they announced the winner with her at the evening. And it was like super exciting because it took them so long to announce the winner. And I think we spent there like literally three hours or whatever, but it was so much fun. And ever th since then, and when I heard she was like making resin out of it, I knew I needed one because, because now I'm just gonna con connect the resin for the rest of my life with this evening, which was so much fun and so cool because I met so many amazing people and I actually was able to hold this big guy, which was super, super heavy. So I'm definitely gonna include a picture of me holding him. This is so I was like this. But this is like, of course, way smaller and he's so freaking adorable. Oh my god. And I'm so glad I got one. Because if you don't know, um, so many people were interested in him, of course. So um, she did a lottery. Um, so you actually had to get picked to buy one. So um, there aren't any for sale, of course, anymore. Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough in the first batch because she was doing two. And I think by now she's doing three batch sales. And um, I wasn't lucky enough in the first sale, but I'm so overwhelmed that I got picked in the second one and I'm just so freaking happy. And he came so fast. Um, I think it hasn't even been two weeks since I ordered him. And I mean, I'm just like so happy and so overwhelmed that I got one. And it probably will take me another few years until I actually paint him because I'm so afraid to paint him. Um, because he's so sh special to me. This is so cool. I'm just so overwhelmed right now and I can't um, speak anymore. But I hope you enjoyed this video and um, give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out my other videos where I unpack super cool other fancy resins. But this is definitely my new favorite model of all times for sure. But um, yeah, again, thanks so much for watching and I will hopefully see you very soon. Bye. Okay, so I almost forgot um, tasting these lifesavers. So here we go. That's the whole package smelled like this. And I was telling this to this guy and he was like, oh my gosh, this is probably the plastic. And I'm like, no, this smells, I can't even describe it. This is n nothing I n ever have tasted before. So I can't even describe it to you because I don't know. It tastes so weird. It's kind of sweet, but kind of not. This basically tastes like sugar with a little bit of flour. I don't even know what this is. It smells and it tastes like a perfume. Okay. Americans.